Hi everyone, welcome to my talk, my first program, a pen testing tool. So just in case you're wondering, this will not just be a talk about programming and coding, and this will also be a talk about a lot of first times, uh, but not what you might think now. First, about me, um, how I end up here, because I come from a very, very different subject. So back in the days, I studied history of arts, and um, after this, I did a few different things, and I ended up working at school. And someday, a guy turned up at the school and uh, did a pen test there. And while he was doing this, he uh, did talk to all the employees, and he also talked to me. And um, when I was working there, I was mainly working um, on a program called FileMaker Pro. I cannot recommend it. It was... <laughs> It was pretty outdated, and um, I used it uh, for a purpose that it was not designed for. And um, the guy ended up asking me, what do you think about becoming a hacker? And my answer was like, hell yeah. So this is why I'm here now. Um, in addition to this, um, I should mention that I'm from Germany, so in case that my language is not perfect, this is because I'm not a native English speaker. Um, so I work in IT security uh, industry now for almost a year. So next month it will be a year. So I had uh, to learn a lot. I'm still learning. Um, so also I learned programming, but I will tell about this later. Uh, what else you should know about me? Uh, I do have a pet. Her name is Lilo. She's a little uh, chipmunk. If you want to see more photos of her, you can ask me later on. I have tons. She does. <laughs> And um, I love sewing, and over the last year, uh, the things I sew um, became more sophisticated, um, also including electronic parts. And I love sports. I do jogging and bouldering. So about programming. What I learned um, about programming was it is very um, similar to learning any other language. So I learned a lot of languages, obviously English, French, Spanish, Greek and Latin. And then I came to programming and my first programming language was Python. And um, I noticed that I have to do some like grammar, which is basically the syntax and some vocab. So some predefined um, definitions and variables. And what you, I also learned what was very different from other languages, just you have to know how to use Google. This can help you very, uh, very much. And um, I started learning um, Python with a book. And when I finished the book, I was so happy. And I thought I was done. And then I realized I was not. Because there's always something new. And when you get into programming, um, there come a lot of new uh, libraries, a lot of new ways how to code things. So you can always learn th something new. And what I also learned is errors can be progress. So when you code, you can't get around making mistakes, but when you find your mistakes and fix them, then your program will grow and it will proceed. And the good thing I learned about uh, coding is it can be very, very rewarding. So um, when you build something and you see um, what you've done after, it can be cool. And sometimes you wrote code, and it works the first time, but it does not happen as often as I wish it would. So when I started writing my first program, I was wondering, what should it do? And um, I was lucky because I had a work-related task, um, and it should do reconnaissance and enumeration, and I was wondering, how could I achieve this? So I used Google again and found out I could use the Shodan IP. So what I did then was the first time reading a full documentation, and it was the Shodan documentation. It was great fun. I learned a lot. And I just tried to do something and turned out with like the beta version um, of my program, which looked like this. So you had a little banner. And... Um, the, it was a command line interactive tool, so it asked you questions, you answered them. And in this case, I asked, uh, I just uh, looked up google.com. 
Um, and I said I want three results. When you're lucky, you get some results. And then you can save them and give it a, a file name. And when you've saved it, the whole th thing looked like this. So you had some information about the IP, the domain name, and the ports, and what the ports are doing. And what I also learned while doing this, how to import another piece of code into my code. So for example, if I'm going to share this program one time, I don't want everyone to have my Shodan IP key. So there's a tiny bit of code that I can import to use this. And um, after I did this, I thought about how can I make my program easier to use? What other programs uh, do I know and how do I use them? And um, yeah, I thought a command line tool would be much easier to use than an interactive program. And then I googled again and find out that I could use ArcParse. And I did read the whole documentation and I understand, uh, understood nothing. So as you can see, I clicked on the ArcPass tutorial and it did the whole tutorial and it helped a lot. So there were a lot of different options that uh, I could use and um, so much stuff to go through and I did it all. And whenever you're going through the ArcPass documentation, you don't understand anything, do the tutorial, it's great. So I ended up writing my code. So this is part of my code. Um, just to show off a little bit, I really did it. And uh, yeah, now I want to describe what my program can do until now. So you have some basic search functions, um, dash IP for an, um, where you can look up an IP address, um, dash B for a banner search, um, dash D for domain, and you can also uh, give the program a list. It should be a TXT file with uh, one IP per line, uh, per, per line um, and search search this. The domain um, output still looks like um, from the beta version, so you still have the IP, the um, domain name, and the ports with uh, their functions. And um, the other um, options are a little, bit, uh, a little bit more sophisticated. The output is a little bit more uh, verbose. And you can also um, sp uh, specify what you're looking for. For example, you can limit the output of the um, results. For example, when you search for google.com, you will get tons of results. And you can say, yeah, I'll say dash n, five, and you will just get five results. You can also save the output as um, JSON output or as um, TXT file, or you can choose uh, both options. And with dash V, it's not verbose as in uh, many other uh, programs. Um, for me, it's um, vulnerabilities. So Shodan um, looks for vulnerabilities on the um, IPs that it's looking for. And um, with dash V, you can get more information about uh, the vulnerabilities. Um, another function that I put in there is you can do an on-demand scan. So you give a, um, a search item to um, uh, the Shodan IP and um, it will, after some time, do the scan. And you can check if it's done with um, dash M, so you will get a status um, report. and. Uh, when the uh, scan is finally done with um, dash G, you can get the results. And you can also, in case you find somewhere a list of Shodan IP keys, uh, verify if the keys are valid or not with um, dash K and uh, the list. And you can also um, look for the protocols and the ports that Shodan is um, scanning uh, during the search. And for sure, like in every program, you can uh, use dash, dash H for the help message. And uh, now I want to uh, demonstrate um, how the program works. So um, here I call the program, look for google.com and say, I want a banner search with four results and I want the information about the vulnerabilities and I want to save it as txt file and as a JSON file. It takes a little bit of time. I 
cut out a, a few seconds. So otherwise we would have sitten here a little longer. So it was saved. And here you can see the longer descriptions of the vulnerabilities. There were a lot. And um, this is just the list. Um, if you don't choose dash we, you just get the list. And this is how the um, output of the ports might look like, depending on what the program finds. And um, this is how the um, output looks now. Um, I added that you can see in the file when you did the uh, the scan, just in case you forgot to save it the right way. And um, in case you have to repeatedly do um, the same scan again and again, um, the uh, command that you used is saved in the file as well. So you can do it again after a few months uh, without no uh, taking a note what you've done there. And for the future, um, since I have to repeatedly do scans um, at work at the moment, um, I'm thinking about implementing um, that I can compare uh, the old scan with the, the new scan that I do at the moment. And just in case that you have any um, ideas for me, feel free to enlighten me. And um, what's left for me now is saying thank you for the first time and for being part of this first time with me. We still have a few minutes, so any questions? Okay. What made you do the API key? Huh? What made you do the verification for the API key? Did everyone uh, hear I that in the back? I don't remember. <laughs> Why did you do an API key? No, no, no. Oh, the, the verification, verification of the list. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but it might be that I somehow stumbled about a list of showed and IP keys on the internet. <laughs> Other questions? Or ideas? Ideas? Are you all still awake or are you asleep after lunch? Ah, uh, question. How did you get from working in the school to working in IT in uh, security? Just ask him. <laughs> right place, right time, right? Yeah. Hi, brilliant talk, really, really good. Um, where do you, like, it's a question, um, idea, actually, idea. So where are you, having got the background in teaching and stuff, are you thinking, have you thought about maybe how you could, like, run this kind of thing out to educate other people who are new to this? Sorry, I should make the question clearer. Um, could you make this idea, use this idea to educate new people to tech, to coding, do you think? Have you thought about that? So if um, I could motivate people with what I did? Or um, yeah, I'm trying to think of how to say it better. So, yeah. <laughs> so could you take this program and give it out to a school so that you can encourage kids to learn how to program and or get in this area? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. Is one more over there? Sorry. This is how I get my steps in during the day. Uh, just a quick question about, um, have you got this on GitHub anywhere? It's a good place to get ideas. Not yet, so, uh, okay. but I might put it up. If you do, make sure you take the key out. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions, ideas? Go once, twice, gone. Thank you very much. <laughs>